Hey everyone, just another Tesla guy here. Tesla just started rolling out full self-driving trials for all the cars that are eligible. And you guys may be wondering how to activate full self-driving on your car. So once you get a software update, you should have access to the full self-driving uh, feature over here. The version that you do get is version 12.3, which is the current version I have here. So that includes features like auto park, meaning you're able, the car is able to park for you where they're pulling into a spot or parallel parking, both forex videos of both down below the like button. So to activate it, you just tap on full self-driving beta, read through the terms and condition, uh, check this and ask, do you want to enable full self-driving while it's in limited beta? Yes. So this is not full self-driving. Even though it's considered full self-driving, it still has you to monitor it. You have to make sure it doesn't do anything crazy. And it's not, you're liable for everything that's happening. Um, so make sure that to be aware of that. The next row item here is how you activate full self-driving and um, just pushing down here one time. So it's great. The second part is uh, the profile of how full self-driving will behave when it's driving. Would it be in a chill setting, average or assertive? Um, I'm in New Jersey here, drivers here tend to go pretty aggressive and assertive. So I need to make sure it's on the assertive, assertive setting. So in this profile, my car will have smaller follow distance and perform more frequent uh, speed lane changes. So if they notice that the cars on my lane is going slow, it's gonna change to a faster lane. And um, lane change notification, how do you wanna be notified if the car does make a lane change? Do you want it to chime? like? make a sound or your steering wheel vibrate or both i have it set for off because when the dutch changes lanes you can hear it you will see it like that so five move off and then minimal lane changes for current drive i actually want this on by default um because i'm okay with it staying in the current lane unless it's really slow but for the most part i don't like that it changes lanes even if the car is going if the car is going in front of me, it's going at 54. When the speed limit is 55, it's going to want to change to a faster lane, which I, I don't really need to do that. So I enable that feature every drive, which Tesla will give us the option to have that on by default. But as of right now, version 12.3, it's still off and it resets um, each time you park your car. And the next one is just the automatic speed set offset. Meaning that um, when this is on, you're letting the car have full control of the speed. Meaning it will determine whether or not if it should speed up or slow down based on the current road conditions, based on the cars around you, basically following the flow of traffic. Because if the speed limit decreases, this car, if this is off, the car would start matching and slowing down the speeds to match the speed limit, which is the legal thing to do. But drivers here in New Jersey tend to go 5, 10 miles above the speed limit. So each time it slows down, the cars around me aren't slowing down. So I have to manually speed up the car to make sure it stays with the flow of traffic. So having the automatic set speed offset on enable, the car will handle all of that and monitor it and um, have used it a couple of times already. Still Fuse is a little slow compared to all the other cars around me so i wish it could be a little bit faster and with the autos automatic set speed offset on you're not able to change the speed so once you set it the car will handle all of that so that's one of the downside i wish i can control and still make it go a little bit faster but it will only get better with, with new future updates so with that said let's give a quick uh trial run on full self driving so it's as simple as just putting in a location and navigating there. So I'm just gonna tap this a couple of turns so you guys can see it happen. Okay, once you enter a destination and you make sure that you're clear, you just pull into the streets and start. Push down one time, and my hands are off, not the, on the steering wheel, and the car is controlling the drive. So it needs to make a left turn up ahead. So if you can see auto uh, max. So it's controlling the speed. It knows to go 17, 16 miles here. Stopping here for a stop sign. All right, a full stop. Zero miles and then starts off with the left turn. Great. Okay, roll to New Jersey, best. All right, 
it and the car's handling it. My hands are not on the steering wheel. It's controlling the drive. My foot's not on the pedal. So apply slight force. You have to do this once in a while to make sure that you're monitoring so you're awake and you're applying force. Stopping right here. Okay, making sure we're clear. Making a left turn right here. Okay, my hands are not on the steering wheel. It's controlling it. Hold to the side. I'm not sure why I did that. So again, see, this is what Tesla means that you should be in control. You should be monitoring. You should be supervising it so it's not letting the car do some weird things like that. All right, stopping here. All right, and then now making a right turn. We're clear. stop sign and make another right turn so just like that you enter a location you press down one time and the car will handle the full drive for you all right let's see if i can find a spot here and get test out the auto park let's try if this spot works yep see so auto park needs you to be under 10 miles for it to show up so once that happened start auto park okay Tight space, cars are in, ahead of it and behind it, so. All right, let's see this. Okay, turn it back into the spot. Notice there are no lane markers here, but it is using the two cars ahead of it and behind it to know where to park. up a little bit so just like that just like that all right and that's full self driving you enter a location you push down on the stop one time it will drive you there you find a spot you tap on park and it'll park for you and that, that's it so let me know your thoughts on full self driving and if you do activate it tell me what you think down in the comments below all right hope this one was helpful thanks for watching this one Bye for now.